the constitution of india in this chapter we will be reading about the preamble the fundamental rights and duties and the directive principles the constitution of india why do you think it is important to follow rules when you are in school your school asks you to follow the rules so that the school can run properly in the same way every country needs a set of rules that may run properly the rule book where the rights and duties of citizens are stated is called the constitution of india now children let us underline this portion what is a constitution a constitution is a set of rules and what is the constitution of india the rule book where the rights and duties of a citizen are stated is called the constitution of india okay please underline this portion 3 years after india's independence the constitution of india was implemented on 26th january 1950 every year on this day we celebrate republic day so when was the when was the constitution of india implemented it was implemented on 26th january 1950 and what do we celebrate the day as republic day okay now the fact quest the original constitution of india was handwritten by prem bihari rai zada each paper was beautified and decorated by artists from shanti niketan now shanti niketan is in west bengal it's in bolpur and it is all uh, the place where ravindranath tagore had made the university okay the constitution contains the rights and duties that each and every indian citizen enjoys and follows so what does the constitution have children the constitution have the rights and the duties every indians enjoy and has to follow the laws of a country have been made keeping in line with the indian constitution let us learn more about what is written in our constitution okay preamble Preamble acts as an introduction to the Indian Constitution and sets out the guiding purpose and principles of the nation. It states that Indian uh, sorry India is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic and republic. Let us learn what these terms mean. Children so what is a preamble? Preamble is a acts as an introduction to the indian constitution and sets out the guiding purpose and the principles of the nation what does the uh, constitution is made up of it states the sovereign soci- socialist secular democratic and republic these are the things which is mentioned in that we'll learn in details now sovereign a sovereign country is independent of the authority of the state the government has full right and power over itself now children i'm not going to underline i'm just going to write important that is i m p shortcut of important so you all can write this is the things which you have to learn okay so what is sovereign a sovereign country is dependent independent of the authority of state the government has full right and power over itself socialist 
a socialist country is one where everyone is equal there is no divisions among people based on caste color or religion everybody is equal that means it's equality among all the people secular a country is secular that means it allows people to practice any religion of their choice so you can practice any kind of religion which you want okay which you like and which you want you can practice that religion and this is the right we have a secular country is one that allows people to practice any religion of their choice democratic a democratic government is a government that is of the people by the people for the people in a democracy people have the right to elect the leaders who will run the country republic a republic is a country where the representatives elected by the people run the country okay here we have the preamble the constitution of india let us read what it says the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution this is what is written in the now what is this says the preamble to the indian constitution okay children now elections in a democracy the citizen of a country have the right to vote and select their leaders the party gets the majority vote of the citizen from the government india follows the rule of universal adult franchise in this system of voting the citizen of india have the right to vote without any discrimination based on one's caste religion color or gender the constitution of india allows every citizen who has attained the age of 18 to cast his or her vote now children we all know this that 18 and above 18 we can cast our vote and we can elect our representative okay so now we will underline what is universe uh, universal adult franchise what is universal adult franchise universal adult franchise is the system of voting the citizens of india have the right to vote without any discrimination based on caste religion color or gender okay fundamental rights these are the rights we which we have every citizen of india enjoys certain privileges known as fundamental rights so what are fundamental rights that we have the privileges certain privileges are there which is known as the fundamental right they are the basic rights of people a person and cannot be denied to the people and what are they they are the basic rights and it cannot be denied
again i will write over here important that is imp because you must learn this imp okay right to equality all citizen of india are to be given equal liberty before law and equal opportunities right to freedom all citizens of india have the freedom of speech and expression any citizen of india can reside in any part of the country and can also travel freely to any part of the country now children freedom means we can go anywhere in india without any visa or passport so we can settle anywhere we can go anywhere that is what the freedom is saying and for equality there is no discrimination uh in front of the law all have the equal opportunities right against exploitation citizens of india cannot be forced into labor and treated unfairly in factories children below the age of 14 years cannot be employed at any place of work okay now children they cannot work any place it is exploitation then right to freedom of religion the citizen of india are free to participate Uh, sorry to free to practice the religion of their choice culture and cultural and educational rights citizens of india have are sorry are to res- preserve and promote the culture of the place they live in they can also set up educational institution in any part of the country right to constitutional remedies if any of the fundamental rights are taken away from a person he or she can go to any court of law to seek justice it is the duty of the court to ensure that nobody is deprived of their fundamental rights okay children so once again let us just revise the fundamental rights one is the right to equality second is the right to freedom third is the right against exploitation fourth right to freedom of religion fifth cultural and educational rights sixth right to constitutional remedies now the fundamental duties now we have got some duty towards our country also let us see what are they just like the constitution gives us certain rights to enjoy it also mentions certain duties that every citizen of india must perform some of the duties are every indian citizen must follow the rules written in the constitution every indian citizen must uphold and cherish the principles that inspired the freedom movement every indian citizen should promote harmony and peace amongst all castes and religion Every Indian citizen must protect the country and provide services to the nation when needed. Every citizen must value and protect the heritage of the country. Every Indian citizen must condemn violence and not harm any public property. Every cit- Indian citizen must take care of the environment. Every Indian citizen must uphold and promote the idea of togetherness. Okay children these are the duties which we must follow and we should follow. 
what are they we must follow the rules written in the constitution we must uphold and cherish the principle that inspired the freedom movement we should promote harmony and peace among all castes and religion we must protect the country and provide services to the nation when needed we must value protect the heritage of the country we must condemn violence and not harm any public property we must take care of the environment which is very necessary we must uphold and promote the together idea of togetherness this is also very important these all eight points are very important for us children now we come to directive principles like we have some rights and duties even the government has some duty towards us our constitution not only has rights and duties for citizen it also has some guidelines and principles to be followed by the government these rules for the government are known as directive principles now what is directive principles that the constitution not only has the rights and duties for citizens it also has guidelines and principles that to be followed by the government these rules for the government are known as directive principles so what are directive principles you can write from here the constitution the government has some guidelines and the sorry the constitution has give, given some guidelines and principles to be followed by the government these rules for the government are known as directive principle okay similarly i am not going to point out you have to learn this part the government shall inspire sorry the government shall aspire to provide the right to work and education as well as provide for just and human condition of work to the citizens of india so what are the government going to provide the right to work and education as well for the for just and human condition to work to the citizens of india okay it is the duty of the government to see to it that every citizen is provided with good living conditions proper food and health care now what do they have to see that the people of india should have good living conditions proper food and health care the government should also see to it that no rich persons exploit the poor it also has to see that nobody should exploit the poor the government should see to it that every child is provided education till at least the age of 14 now the government also has to see that it provides education to all the children at least up to the age of 14 so we come to an end of this chapter children so let us sum up the constitution of india what does it have sovereign socialist and secular democratic republic now the fundamental rights the fundamental rights are what right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights right to constitutional remedies there are some directive principles of the state policy similarly fundamental duties what are the duties we have 
respect the constitution cherish the principle of freedom movement promote harmony and peace protect the country and environment value the heritage of india condemn violence so we come to an end of chapter 16 children thank you so much take care be safe and bye